Okay, so this is week three. This is how my knee looks like. If you compare it to this one, it's still a little swollen and this is just right after icing it. But I think it's looking pretty good. I went to physical therapy today and they gave me some exercises that I will be definitely working on. If you notice, I lost some muscle on the leg where I had surgery on. I still have tape on that incision, some bruising, but so far so good. One of the things I was told during physical therapy was to still use uh, something like this around the knee and that's gonna help the knee with the swelling okay i'm thinking kind of like a girdle for the knee also to make sure to let this area breathe um a few times a day but do i do need to go to sleep with this thing on so i'm gonna go ahead and put it on and then i'll show you how it looks once the brace is on okay so i went ahead and put it on by the way this was one that i cut out from the original band they gave me and then I also use this piece of a legging, okay? And that is because I like to put it underneath the brace because my skin is super sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. And I gotta hold the phone by myself. So let's see if I can do it. So you see it's just a legging and I use it because my skin is super, super sensitive. So I'm gonna go ahead and put on the brace now. So this is how I will be sleeping tonight with the brace, with the band. One of the things that they did tell me in physical therapy was to continue using both crutches to avoid falling or anything like that. And I will be working on making my legs strong again. I just want to show you the actual incision right there. I think it looks pretty good. So... um I do want to tell you though that I got scared the other day because I was bleeding a little bit on this side. But what happened is that the scab is that the scab was coming off and therefore it was too dry. I'm about to get in the shower right now. So I do want to show you. I'll take this off. I do want to show you what um, my mother-in-law told me to do. Again, this is just what I'm doing. It doesn't mean you have to do it. Just follow your doctor's instructions. This is just what I am doing to um, to kind of soothe this part, to kind of feel it um, not as crusty because it does hurt uh, when it's crusty. Um, take this off right here. I am doing a lot of things by myself and I will show you that I can walk um, short distances with the brace on but I am able to put I am able to put full weight on my on my leg I do want to tell you that my whole entire leg gets super super dry I have to constantly be putting lotion as you can tell here it's extremely dry and I still have some bruising here. I'm going to go ahead, take a shower, and then I'm going to show you how I put uh, olive oil on the cut. I do have physical therapy in about an hour. So I'll be right back. So there's my shower. It is very easy to get in and out of it. Now being almost week four. And um, I am ready. So you can see all the, you can see the dryness right there. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and you have to be very patient when you get in the shower because nothing is easy. As you can see, I'm still, as you can hear actually, I am out of breath. So let me show you what my mother-in-law told me to do. Extra virgin olive oil. Yes, it is the one you cook with. I mean, if you can eat it, I don't think it would be bad for your skin. And I'm going to get just a tissue. So let me go ahead and do it because I only, well, maybe I can do it. So I'm going to do that. And pour some there like that. And the tea tree is going to soak some of it. So this is what I have. 
I'm gonna go ahead and just put it on like so. So I've been doing this since, I've been doing it like this since Sunday. Today is Tuesday. And believe it or not, um, the scab is not coming off. I'm not bleeding anymore. So that is how I do it. <laughs> 